welcome to Kigali Engineers College. Let's call it in the crossfire. Let's call it in the crossfire. Also, this track can be rotated, and after use this boost slide for this track slide. This ref machine, as you see, has main part. The first part it is what we call the, this part, which is called the tail stock, and this part it is called the ref bed, and the third one it is what we call the carriage, and the fourth one it is what we call the head stock. Let me explain according to one, one by one, the step, according to the step of working principles. The first one is what we call the tail stop. As you see, tail stop have the accessories which is, which is called the DG center. This DG center help us to centering a workpiece that holding in this chunk. Yes, it will be that function of these DD centers. The other part we are going to, to describe it is what you call ref bed. This bed it is where your carriage, this carriage and this tail stock are hold on. Another part it is what you call this you see here it is what you call red screw. Red, red screw it is used for when it is rotating, it is used for cutting the thread, as you see, have a thread, a thread. Another one, it is what we call the feed rod. This feed rod help us when we are help us in operation, such as turning and the taper turning operation or parallel turning operation. The third one, it is this. This part, we are going to the part which is called velocity. Change of velocity engagement where we are going to change a velocity of rotation of this chart. About this tail stock, this, this was called the carriage. This carriage has many parts. The part one it is what we call the tool post. Tool post it is it is used for holding cutting tool. To that I'm holding here by this bolt for working. Another one it is what you call the cross slide. Cross slide, cross slide is is this. It is used for making a taper on a workpiece. This is called the mandrel. Mandrel it is where we are setting the angle for taper turning. For example, if you have a DD center, taper. I'm saying, for example, this. This taper, all workpiece are tapered according to angles. You see, this angle and here are different, are different. Those angles are set here for this what part, which is called the mandrel. Another part, it is what we call the cross slide. Cross slide. Cross slide, it is the way we're moving our 
this carriage for moving this tool post toward a workpiece for proper turning. Another part it is what we call this cross saddle. These saddles used for moving our whole carriage for making taper when we are going to reduce a diameter of a workpiece. For example, if you have this, this is a workpiece. We are going to reduce this diameters of this workpiece for a desired shape. We use this cross slide when we are holding there for reducing and this cutting it all hold on then remove diameter and reduce it because this chunk was rotated where this cutting tool are fixed. Another thing, another part it is this which is called the automation. When we push this means the, our, this carriage are going in automa automatically moves. Meaning that this moves automatic, automatically without manual operation. Another is this. When we are going to rocking our carriage, we use this boot. Another is this. When we are going to make a parallel turning or bolt, we use this for, for there, you see that there is what we call a thread. When we are going to make to make a thread on our workpiece, we use the this you we put this in the thread, then and the, use in the automation, then this rotate rotate automatic automatically. Another part for fourth part it is what we call head stock. This head stock, as you see, there is a specification that are located here. Suppose of that when we are going to make a thread for a different pitch. We know that pitch are set according to the dia diameters of a workpiece. For example, if you are going to make a pitch for for example, let, let we assume that we are going to make a pitch of 0 0.5, 0 0.5 inch. We see that this it is called 0.45 is located here. Then move here. You see there is a two. A number two. A number two, you, you can come here, you can come here and set it two. And we know that there is an, another value which is called decay. And you come for this, it is this, and you put in a K in a cage and about 45 you move upward and we see for 0 0.5 we need G letter G letter G is here and you set it then about G there is C C it is working speed then you you put this in C, yes, and we, we, we make that if there is what we call the C. Make sure that this C is directly proportional to this marked as marked here. Yes, and if we have a cage, you, you may ensure that it is directly proportional to this mark. Yes, this marking when it is operating. And we, another part is this, this is what is called, this have same function as this, these velocities. When we are going to make for a thread, for, as you see here, there is a number mentioned here, it is the velocity of what? of working there is nine there is five there is other and you see that there is many specification here there is one there is two there is three there is four and so on these are the way we are going to set the diameters about here there is a switch you can switch on or switch off a machine as we see here another another part it is what we call gearbox Gearbox contained in headstock. 
this gear box contains many gears as you see as you see there's many gears of different diameters and you know that these diameters for reducing or increasing the speed of spindles that rotate the track. Yes, another part it is what we call a track. A track is a special part of this machine where we hold this can hold a workpiece, can hold a workpiece or for a different diameter. As you see this, this it is called a chaka key. This chaka key can use it for holding our workpiece for diameter according to its length and their diameters. As you see, it can be increased or reduced or reduced according to the diameters of workpiece. As you see, these jaws are remover and remover doors. And also, there is what we call electric motors. These electric motors can provide, can provide a prime movement from this working operation of this ref machine. Another, this what is called a operating switch. You can switch, turn off the machine. We call it circuit breakers of this machine. When there is a high, high load for these electric motors, this break, switch, circuit breaker can turn off it automatic, automatically. Let's perform one or two operations for this ref machine. Firstly, this is what this you can take. After this work piece, you can hold it in this cup and adjust these jaws. Can you, can you fix a work piece carefully in the jaws of yeah, hold it and this make sure this there's no vibration on this chuck. After holding this work piece, I can use this telescope for I can use this telescope for centering the work the work piece to ensure that it is in the set in the centers of this machine axis. After holding it, make sure there is no way to take the effort. After making there is no vibration, you can fix a cutting tool. After having those those materials. You can adjust, you will fix this cutting tool in this tool post. After this, after fixing it, you can switch it and switch it on. Switch on. Also, this chart can be rotated. And after use this post slide for. Right. I will sit on proper position. Yes. As you see, this machine is in a proper position. Or then you can use when we need to make turning operation. You use this cross side, cross side for facing for facing this diameter. As you see, when the machine, when this machine, this cutting tool was in contact with this workpiece, 
the diameter can be reduced, reduce it. When we are going to facing, to have a finished perfect facing. And we remove this for reducing the diameters of our work of this that we have a desired materials. Thank you for the session of today. I hope these videos are very essential and very useful in our day, everyday life, in, especially in mechanical engineering. For more videos, don't forget like, subscribe and comment.